Evaluate the limit. The limit contains a sum of fractions. Each fraction has a form of 1 over root k plus root 2, where k is from 0 to n. So we let f of x equal 1 over root x plus root 2, where x is greater than or equal to 0. To check the function's monotonicity, we calculate the first derivative of f of x. f dash of x, equals negative 1 over 2 root x, times root x plus root 2, all squared. Clearly which is less than 0. So f of x is strictly decreasing. Next, we calculate the second derivative of f of x. f double dash of x, equals root x plus root 2 all squared, over root x, plus 4 root x, times root x plus root 2, times 1 over 2 root x, over 4x times root x plus root 2, all to the power of 4. Multiply the numerator and the denominator by root x over root x plus root 2. Which can be simplified and written as, 3 root x plus root 2, over 4x root x, times root x plus root 2 all cubed. Clearly, which is greater than 0. So f of x is convex. f of x can be sketched like that. Because f of x is strictly decreasing and convex, so f of 0 is greater than f of 1, which is greater than f of 2, and so on, which is greater than f of n. Note that, the integral of f of x, with respect to x, from 0 to n plus 1, represents the area under the curve between x equals 0 and x equals n plus 1. From the graph, we can see that, f of 0 plus f of 1, plus so on, plus f of n, is the left Riemann sum with step size 1, for the integral of f of x, from 0 to n plus 1. Since f of x is convex and strictly decreasing, so the left Riemann sum overestimates the integral, from 0 to n plus 1. This implies that, the integral of f of x, with respect to x, from 0 to n plus 1, is less than the sum of f of k, from k equals 0 to n. Similarly, f of 1 plus f of 2, plus so on, plus f of n, is the right Riemann sum with step size 1, for the integral of f of x, with respect to x, from 0 to n. Since f of x is convex and strictly decreasing, so the right Riemann sum of f of k, from k equals 1 to n, underestimates the integral of f of x, with respect to x, from 0 to n. That is, the sum of f of k, from k equals 1 to n, is less than the integral of f of x, with respect to x, from 0 to n. Then add f of 0 to both sides of the inequality. So we have, the sum of f of k, from k equals 0 to n, is less than f of 0, plus the integral of f of x, with respect to x, from 0 to n. As f of x equal 1 over root x plus root 2, so the inequalities become, the integral of 1 over root x plus root 2, with respect to x, from 0 to n plus 1, is less than the sum of f of k, from k equals 0 to n which is less than f of 0, plus the integral of 1 over root x plus root 2, with respect to x, from 0 to n. As f of 0 equals 1 over root 2. So the sum of f of k, from k equals 0 to n, is less than 1 over root 2, plus the integral of f of x, with respect to x, from 0 to n. Clearly, to evaluate the sum, we need to evaluate the integrals. So next we will evaluate the integral of 1 over root x plus root 2, with respect to x. We let root x plus root 2 equal u. Then, dx over 2 root x equals du. So dx equals 2 root x du. We know that, root x equals u minus root 2. So dx equals 2 u minus 2 root 2, du. So the indefinite integral can now be written as, the integral of 2u minus 2 root 2 over u, du. Which is equal to, the integral of 2 minus 2 root 2 over u, du. Which is equal to, 2u, minus 2 root 2 lin of modulus of u, plus c. As u equals root x plus root 2. So we can now write, equals 2 root x, minus 2 root 2 lin of root x plus root 2, plus c. As f of k equals 1 over root k plus root 2, and the limit that we want to evaluate, 
is 1 over root n, times the sum of f of k, from k equals 0 to n. So we multiply the inequalities by 1 over root n. And we have, 1 over root n, times the integral of 1 over root x plus root 2, with respect to x, from 0 to n plus 1, is less than 1 over root n, times the sum of 1 over root k plus root 2, from k equals 0 to n. Which is less than 1 over root n, times 1 over root 2, plus the integral of 1 over root x plus root 2, with respect to x, from 0 to n. From above, we know that, the integral of 1 over root x plus root 2, with respect to x, equals 2 root x, minus 2 root 2 lin of root x plus root 2, plus c. So the inequalities become, 1 over root n, times 2 root x, minus 2 root 2 lin of root x plus root 2, from 0 to n plus 1, is less than 1 over root n, times the sum of 1 over root k plus root 2, from k equals 0 to n. Which is less than 1 over root n, times 1 over root 2, plus 2 root x, minus 2 root 2 lin of root x plus root 2, from 0 to n. 2 root x, minus 2 root 2 lin of root x plus root 2, from 0 to n plus 1, is equal to, 2 root n plus 1, minus 2 root 2 lin of root n plus 1, plus root 2, plus 2 root 2 lin of root 2. 2 root x, minus 2 root 2 lin of root x plus root 2, from 0 to n, is equal to, 2 root n minus 2 root 2 lin of root n plus root 2, plus 2 root 2 lin of root 2. Limit of, 1 over root n, times 2 root n plus 1, minus 2 root 2 lin of root n plus 1, plus root 2, plus 2 root 2 lin of root 2, as n tends to infinity, is equal to 2. And limit of, 1 over root n, times 1 over root 2, plus 2 root n minus 2 root 2 lin of root n plus root 2, plus 2 root 2 lin of root 2, as n tends to infinity, is equal to 2. So limit of, 1 over root n, times sum of 1 over root k plus root 2, from k equals 0 to n, as n tends to infinity, is equal to 2, since its lower and upper bounds tend to 2. So the limit that we want to evaluate is 2.